make stickers on the Silhouette Studio version 4. I think, yes, this is the most recent software. Um, the previous software was, uh, it took me a while to learn, and then <laughs> right when I learned it, they um, changed it up on me, so I had to relearn it again, but it's okay because um, what they really did is moved things around, changed some icons, but I figured it out. So I'm going to show you how to, or well, how I make stickers. So this is the software right here. You open it up, and first things first, oh, okay, so I have a Cameo, but I have like the original Cameo. So the Cameo has a, I think it's a 12 by 12 mat, but the sticker paper I'm gonna use is a um, eight and a half by 11 sticker paper. So what we do is, so I went to this icon up here. There you go, so select size. So the paper is eight and a half by 11. And then here's my cutting mat, which is that one right there. And then, um, First things first, when you make stickers, you want to hit this icon right here, which is the registration marks. And you want to do registration marks be, uh, registration marks because the silhouette does not print, it only cuts. So you have to print it from your printer, and I have a color laser right over there. And um, the registration marks um, helps the cutter uh, silhouette read your picture, so it cuts it evenly. So. We're gonna go over here to style, and then I have a cameo, so I'll hit cameo. As you can see, it puts the registration marks right there. But what I like to do is I like to move everything to the left. Okay, so there the registration marks are smaller and it gives you more room to put stickers. Okay, so we have the registration marks. Now what you wanna do is you're gonna, um, if you wanna take a picture off the internet, you can do that. But I must say, if you're gonna sell them, you ha I think you have to purchase the pictures, but I'm just gonna just pull a picture off the internet just for the sake of the video and for my personal use. So we'll go to file, and I already saved it on my desktop. So just open, let's see. I'm trying to look through, I should look here. I'm looking through the viewfinder of my phone. All right, we'll just, I picked Mario. <laughs> so we have Mario. As you can see, if I pull it over here, it has like the white border around it. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go over here and we're gonna find the trace, which is right here, trace. So we're gonna select him. I know we're gonna select that first. And then we're gonna trace him. And then we're gonna go over here to threshold. And I just like to fill in the lines because I just wanna make sure that when it cuts, it cuts evenly around there. So we're gonna fill in. Cause if you go too much, it's gonna do that. You don't wanna do that. Kinda just want to fill the lines like that. And then we're gonna go to this feature right here, trace and detach, boom. So now, ta-da, there's the other piece. So we have Mario right there. There's that other piece, we'll just delete that right click. Oh. Delete that. So now you have him as a sticker, right? Oh no, and then it's flipped to another page. So right here, there you go, hold on. Where is that? There it is. So there's the page that we did, and it opened another page when I opened, um, when I went to get the picture. So we'll just cut him, and we'll paste him on the page with the registration marks. Oops. Okay, so there he is. So we have Mario. So we wanna make him a sticker, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put an offset. Now what you can do right now is you can, um, if you look up here, there's the color of the outline. So you can just select him and then 
pick a color. I usually do blue for the kiss cut. And then as you can see, he's outlined in blue. And then when you cut him, it's gonna cut around him. But sometimes I like to put an offset. So we'll undo that. And then I'll select him. And then this is the offset, that star right there. And what an offset does, it puts a border around him. That way there's a little bit of a border when you cut him out. And I like to offset it to 0 0.05 to get as close as possible. So watch this. When you hit apply, boom, the offset is right there. So there's the cutout. And then I always like to change the color to blue. You don't have to, but this is, I've always done it that way. <laughs> Just because I like it. Oops, hold on. I need to select that piece. Okay, so now the line around him is blue. But as you can see, he's not attached to it. So go back. And what you want to do is select him, right click, and you want to group. That way he's attached to that offset. So now we have a sticker. So if you want it already, you could just send it to the silhouette and then have him cut it. But because, you know, I don't want to waste the paper, I can shrink him like that and he'll be about a little bit under an inch wide and then like an inch, a little bit over an inch tall. So I'll just make a ton of them, a ton of, a ton of Mario is just for the sake of this video and I'll just give it to my son, he'll look, <laughs> he'll like it. So we'll select him and then we'll go to this icon right here. It's called open the rough cape panel so you can replicate Mario. See the menu right here? You can do, let's see, let's make four rows of Mario. Bam, so now I have four Marios. And then you can group him. And then we can make more Marios that way. So now we have a ton of Mario's. And what I like to do, because usually when I make stickers, I make them for my planner, so I don't like to do like a full sheet. So what I do is go to this right here. You can select, I like to do the rounded corners. And then you can make a box around him like that. And then, hold on, let's shrink it a little bit. You don't want to go past these lines right here because it's not going to cut past those lines. So you want to move everything on the inside. So I got that. And since, you know, so when it cuts, it's going to have like, it's going to cut this little sheet right here. So you want to select it all and then group them so you can move it around. Let's see if I can, and I can even shrink it like this and then I can replicate it on that side that we have two Mario's and then I can select these two like that and then I can make one down there so now I have four Mario's so there's that so now um, the boxes are red and Mario, when you cut them out, it's gonna be blue. So I like to make my kiss cuts blue. And a kiss cut is when you're cutting the paper, it's only cutting the top layer, so it's not cutting the backing paper either. So it's kind of like a sticker. It just cuts the sticker part. So there's that. And then we'll go to send. And I will show you over here. Let's see, we want to go to line. And this is where you get to see what's what. So when we cut the kiss cut, I want to unmark that. And as you can see, it only outlined the Mario. And I have a silhouette cameo. So this is what mine looks like. And my blade is the, or the ratchet blade. It's ratchet. So I got that and then 
I want to go over here and select, where is it? Sticker paper. Oh, oh nope, not that. Hold on. No, not foam. Sticker paper, white. So there you go. And let's turn on my silhouette. Now with, and this is gonna depend on your machine because um, my, so my um, machine is a, was a hand-me-down from a friend. So the blade was already used. And it also depends on the paper, so um, this is something you're going to have to play around with. But with the paper I'm using, I like to put the force of 12. So that's what it looks like. And let me get my paper. All right, so the paper I'm using is by this brand. It's called Rock Paper Scissors Full Sheet. And it's um, I got the removable one because I use it for my planner. I like to, um, if I mess up, I can... Um, reposition them. So this paper looks the same on both sides, but when you get it, a lot of people get confused, but if you feel it, you can feel which one's the smoother side, and the smoother side is the back. So this is the front, and I'm going to put it in my printer, which I have a Brother, there's the model, and it's a color jet printer. So I'm going to go ahead and print it here. All right, so that's on. So now we're gonna print over here. Let's see. File, print, and you wanna look at your settings because I like to put it on, let's see. Let me get what kind of paper? I put label paper because the quality is much better. And it, that means it, because mine's a laser jet, it heats up the toner a little bit hotter, I think. And then print quality, I like to put fine. And then document type, I like to put photo. And then I'll select the tray manual. And then it's okay, my paper's ready to go. And then I'll print. All right, so it printed it. So that's what it looks like. And you see the registration marks. You need those because that's how the machine is going to read what picture it is and where to cut. So um, this is my silhouette out of the first cameo. And this is a blade and I set it to two. And you know, I have the, this is how you switch the blade online. And let's see, I'm gonna put it in really quick. Make sure you lock it in place. And then you take your mat. So I, ha I put it on the mat and I have a flashlight, a book light here because the way the machine reads the registration marks, it, I think it does it through light and there has to be a good amount of light, but it's dark in here and the light, the lighting in my room isn't great. And also there's no sun today. <laughs> so I'm gonna use my book light I stick it in there and then I hit the really cutting mat. And then I have it set to where I only want it to cut the, the blue line. So, oh, let me fix the blade. Is that right? My blade? Yeah, ratchet blade. Um, make sure everything is right and then just hit send. And we'll watch it go. Let's see, it didn't read the registration mark because. It's dark in here, so you can move the registration mark. And then you just move that black square underneath the blade. Like that. And then hit register. And there it goes. Now it's reading it. And I have my mat in backwards because this part's broken.
So the kiss cut part is done. So now I want to do is cut the red part. So what we're going to do is unselect that and we're going to select the red. And then when I'm cutting around, I like to select cardstock because it'll cut all the way through. But first I need to change my blade and I like to change it to four. So see that red mark? And we're gonna change it to four. And then that thing looks good. And then we'll send. It's gonna read the register marks again. But because it's dark, I have to do it manually. see when I pull it up ta -da, I got four little sheets of stickers and I pull one out really quick so let me see if I can do this one-handed see now I have a sticker ta -da! 